DFMA is important because it helps us be competitive in the world market. When you can design a product with half the cost, half the parts, and half the time, the cost structure is such that you can make it where you want to make it. And we choose to make it close to where we design it, and design and manufacturing done together is a good recipe, and it works. Well, it's important in that we're able to predict the outcome of our design activity and uh, create a product that enters the manufacturing arena uh, smoothly and so that we can have a pretty good idea that we're not going to receive the chaos on the other side. Well, with the DFMA software, we're able to analyze the subassemblies while we're designing them and we can compare iterations within the design, we compare revisions as far as their level of assemblability and we can also compare product lines um, when we do cost reductions and when we do major revisions to make sure that we're progressing in the right direction rather than adding further complications. We do a lot of work up front at the beginning stages of the project. We try to incorporate as many uh, disciplines as, as possible and work together to identify where we can optimize the design so that we remove the constraints and the boundaries right up front that sometimes drive the cost in our products. So by bringing everybody together, we then analyze the cost of the parts, we analyze the assembly itself using the, the, the FMA software from Boothroy Duhers. We use that to quantify the concepts and the, the ideas and the designs that we have. I think uh, DFMA is important because it actually uh, hit on, on the bottom line of, uh, of cost reduction. It achieved a lot of, uh, there's a lot of opportunities that can be uh, achieved when you apply the DFMA, especially the methodology. I, I really am a big believer of the DFMA because I've seen it at work and I believe that it does reduce uh, and, and impact the bottom line. Uh, especially when you are actually reducing the cost of the parts from the beginning. So you're not really looking at reducing and at cutting waste at the manufacturing level, you're going and cutting the waste at the design level. And that's what the implicit is, is to try and make sure that uh, your designs is efficient enough and, and, uh, and the quality of your designs is, is a reflection of how good the DFMA is going to come out. DFMA is important to Celestica, and particularly because we're an EMS provider and as a tier one provider of engineering services and manufacturing, the DFMA process and particularly the DFMA tool allow us a conduit in, uh, in which we can feed back to our designers and our customers' design teams uh, innovation in ways that can improve the design to help our, our manufacturing efficiencies and of course cost. By doing a cost analysis we can get a very good understanding of what it really should cost to do this and first of all by doing a DFMA analysis, uh, we get an understanding of what parts are necessary, what parts are not necessary, can we combine those parts, and if you can eliminate a part, you get rid of all the quality and reliability issues that are involved in these types of parts, and, and that's another big concern of ours, first of all, quality, reliability, and the, and the cost of it. And by using the DFMA philosophy, uh, you really address those types of issues and it gives you the opportunity to make a better, more robust product than what you currently have. It's something that many people don't understand or don't realize that it's not that difficult to do. 